Hey guys, this is Kay with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. In this video, we are talking all things glass and I can't wait to share my vintage glassware collection with you. It is so beautiful and I am very, very excited. So I have so much glass that I'm going to do a little mini series here on my channel and break it up so you guys can keep looking out for glassware videos. There will be several because I do have a lot around my home I've collected over the years. Now the first uh, company that we're going to talk about today is Fostoria and they were founded in 1887 in Fostoria, Ohio. Now in 1983 they were bought by the Lancaster Colony Glass Company and I believe you can still get the Fostoria Americana pattern today. It's a very common pattern you can get relish dishes, plates, cups, you name it, they have it in the Faustoria Americana pattern. So the first piece of Faustoria I want to share with you is this candy dish. It's a footed candy dish in yellow color and yellow glass and it is the crown uh, pattern that Faustoria did. You can see there's a mold seam. So I think this is um, either pressed but it may be hand molded like pressed at the bottom and then hand molded at the top because of these these little round um, pieces here. I'm not exactly sure, but I love the square finial on the top. And I have an affinity for candy dishes. I just think that they're beautiful. They come in all different shapes and sizes. And of course you can put a variety of things in them. So they're really lovely to have around your home. Now this one came in different colors. I have the yellow one here. And some of them in the crown pattern has a pedestal on the bottom. I don't have the one with the pedestal. But these are very collectible. Of course people love Faustoria, but the crown, uh, candy dish is collectible and they come in different colors. I think almost every color you could imagine. Uh, I have the yellow one here. The red one is very collectible and when I started looking uh, for a piece of crown uh, pattern glassware, especially the candy dish, I noticed the prices were pretty expensive online. Um, I think I paid maybe $20 for this because it's the yellow one, but the red one was going for like $50 or more. Now, I am not an authority on glassware prices. I don't know what the current market values are for any of these pieces. You can look them up online and kind of see yourself. And there are several glassware books that I'm going to feature in another video that have prices listed so you can kind of see. I mean, it does depend on the pattern, the color, the maker, how many you have, especially when you're talking uh, tableware type items. So how many plates, how many glasses, that kind of thing. I tend to buy glassware in singles. I like that because it's a mismatched collection, which I think is fun by all different glassware companies. I personally really like that. Of course, when I'm buying something for the kitchen, I like to get a set so that they match, but I like single glassware pieces around my home. Now, the last piece of Faustoria I'm gonna share with you today is a bowl and it's in the green color and it's in the Versailles pattern. Now this bowl is considered rare because it has these bow handles and Faustoria did this on a couple of their pieces but not a lot so it makes it unique. Uh, and I love this green color. There's the um, etched uh, Versailles pattern there and this is just a depression glass bowl but I think it's really, really lovely. I love how delicate uh, Faustoria does their um, etchings. It's very delicate. And I think that this is lovely. It sort of looks like Vaseline glass, but it isn't. But I just think that it's beautiful. Now I do think the Versailles pattern also came in teacups, plates, um, a few other types of um, dishes. But this one's a bowl and it does have the bow handles, which makes it more rare. So the Versailles pattern itself may not be rare, but it just makes this piece rare because of the bow or ribbon style handles. So that is the last piece of Faustoria for this video. I am going to be sharing more Faustoria in future videos because I have so much. I, I love Faustoria. The uh, next company we're going to talk about is Anchor Hawking. Now they were founded in 1905. Everyone is really familiar with Anchor Hawking. I'm sure everyone has a casserole dish or two by them in their cupboard. But they are the oldest glass manufacturing facility in the U.S. and they are out of Lancaster, Ohio. 
Now I want to talk about a, sp a specific type of um, glass, and this is sandwich glass. Now Anchor Hawking made sandwich glass, but also other companies did as well. And sandwich glass is named after a mold process that was invented in Sandwich, Massachusetts. And most sandwich glass where has a pattern that has flowers with some scroll work on the outside and this happens to be a piece of anchor hawking sandwich glass it is not marked anchor hawking on the bottom but you you know that this is anchor hawking when you look it up and i love the green color but here's the um, pattern i was talking about with the flowers and that kind of scroll work on the outside it's really beautiful this is just a piece of pressed glass um, but I think it's lovely. And pressed glass means that it was just pressed down into a mold. It's not cut, you know, into the glass. The uh, next piece of anchor hawking is the Greg Gregorian honeycomb pattern. And this is on a little tumbler. And you can see it is marked anchor hawking on the bottom. It has the uh, anchor there. And I think that this is just a lovely glass. Again, I'm sure if you had a set of these, you could do pretty well selling them. I bought this for, I think, a couple of dollars at a vintage store, and they might have had a sale, I think, that day. So I got some money off on that, too. So this was probably a $1 to $2 piece of glassware. But I love this glass. I keep it in my bathroom, and I use it as a water glass. Uh, but the color is just beautiful. I, I'm attracted... Uh, to red and green glass. I mean, all glass really is beautiful. How can you say that one color is prettier than another? I guess it's just preference, but I love the way the light shines on that. It's really, really beautiful. Now, these next pieces of uh, Anchor Hawking glassware are pieces that are pretty uh, well known because they're out in the community a lot. You see them in the wild everywhere. And uh, this is the Anchor Hawking Royal Ruby Dessert or Fruit Bowl, and it has the uh, scalloped edge. Again, this is not marked, but it's a very, very common um, Royal Ruby uh, pattern by Anchor Hawking. And it has this kind of starburst flower design on the bottom, and then the uh, little indentations that look like bubbles, but this is not the bubble bowl. They did make um, a bubble bowl, which has more of these little uh, circles going up the entire bowl. But this is just the Royal Ruby Red uh, Fruit Bowl. And I think it's beautiful. I keep this in my kitchen, and I just use it for prepping uh, different foods. It's just a nice little bowl. The uh, next uh, piece of Anchor Hawking glass is the Royal Red Ruby glass. But this is a uh, vase, and this is the bowl vase. Now, I think that this is the um, Wilson vase. Some people say that this is the Ivy uh, ball vase. I don't know. If you guys know, please clarify and leave me a comment down below because I'd love to nail that down, whether or not that this is the Wilson or the Ivy vase. But I do know for a fact it's Royal Ruby Anchor Hawking ball vase. And I love its round shape. It is just beautiful. It's a little nugget of a vase. It's so cute. And it has the original sticker on it that says Royal Ruby Anchor Glass. Now, I don't wash this glass at all because it has the sticker. So what I do is I use a uh, microfiber cloth just to sort of dust it off. And it's not marked on the bottom. But it, I think it has a little mark there. Maybe this is hand blown because it looks like it might have a pontel mark there on the bottom where they chopped off the glass piece after it was blown. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of red glass. And this is by Anchor Hawking. So that's it for Anchor Hawking in this video, but I probably will have more because I have so many different pieces of glass to show you. But I think uh, Anchor Hawking is wonderful. So the next glass company we're gonna talk about is Avon. And uh, they were made, this particular um, Cape Cod series was made from 1975 to 1993. And they are the Avon company that made the perfume bottles. And this is just a pressed glass uh, red uh, creamer sugar set. And this is a common pattern, the uh, Cape Cod collection. I mean, they're everywhere. I think they came in glasses, plates, and then different little things like the creamer and sugar set. They might have, I think they even had a salt and pepper if I remember right. But it's marked Avon on the bottom. 
you can see that there both of them are marked and I just think that they're they're pretty you know they are pretty heavy pieces of glass um, but I love the pattern and of course the red color really attracted me to it uh, I just think that red is lovely red is my favorite color so I love those. That is the only uh, piece of Avon glass I have in my house. I'm sure in the future I'll pick up some more as I go to different antique stores and uh, thrift stores and find this stuff. I don't really uh, collect the perfume bottles, but just different glassware containers in general I love. The next piece of glass is Bohemia glass. Now that is not a company. It just means that it's from the region of... Uh, Czech Republic now well now it's Czech Republic it was uh, Bohemia back in the day and um, this is just a beautiful cut to clear piece of glass uh, it is a glass bowl as you can see now this um, pattern I think is just called the grape and vine pattern but it's Bohemia so some uh, company or air you know company in Czech Republic or Bohemia because this is vintage made this uh, glass and I love this I have been looking for this for a long time so my story with this is that I would go into antique stores and I'd see maybe like a set of eight of these and they never were sold individually because obviously glass tends to do better in sets so they wanted like a set of seven for $74 and my guess is that it's so expensive because it's from um, a different country and also all the detail that goes into making these um, pieces. You know, I'm sure it takes a long time and there's a lot of detail on this. And of course it's red, which is a desirable color. So I would go in there and see these at such exorbitant prices and I'm not gonna pay that. But one day I knew that I would run across one of these and I'd be able to pick it up at a good price. So I dropped my grandmother off to get her hair done one day and I went into the vintage store next door and lo and behold, a lady had just a set of these sold individually for $3 a piece. I was so excited. And of course I bought them. They do have uh, some little chips and things, but that doesn't matter to me. Again, that just sort of shows its history. Now, my guess is that these are flashed on, this red color is flashed on, because you can see where the chip was, it's clear underneath, and then there's other little flea bites um, on the bottom, like scratches, sort of, I don't know if you guys can see that, that are clear. So my guess is that this is flashed on, but it is a, a cut to clear um, piece of glass, and I love this, I have two of these bowls, and I think they are absolutely stunning and I was so excited to find them. I love anything that has grapes on it. There's something about the way the grapes are. They're so round, they're so perfect, and they look really beautiful on glass. And uh, this bowl is probably one of my favorite pieces in my apartment of glassware. Now the next company we're gonna talk about is Imperial Glass and they are located in Bel Air, Ohio. They are from 1901 to 1984. Now in 1973, Linux did buy them. And then I think shortly after they closed or were sold, I don't think you can get Imperial Glass anymore. Of course, you can get the vintage ones. But what I have is a Imperial Milk Glass candy dish with a pedestal base. The video cut out there, I got a call, but this was given to me by my grandmother and it has this beautiful finial on the top and you can see the imperial logo there it's a c with a line through it and a little ball up at the top that's the best way i can describe their logo but this is a really beautiful piece of glass and then i have the matching salt and pepper shakers that go with it and you can see that kind of see the logo there that one's not as um, pronounced as the candy dish but that is all the glassware I have to share with you today. I hope that you are staying in, staying safe, and binging YouTube.